The Black Hills of South Dakota, hundreds of miles from the nearest major city, smack dab in the middle of North American continent. We check in on the largest biker party in the world. For a behind the scenes peek at the new look Sturgis motorcycle rally and a preview of Sunday's Sturgis TT race, we welcome back to the show automotive and motorcycle industry expert, our friend Mike Caudill. How are you, Mike? Hey, you know what? It's great to be on with you guys today from uh, beautiful downtown Sturgis. We love having you each and every time. We are headed into the final weekend of the 84th Sturgis Motorcycle Rally and the atmosphere no less charged. This was a big year for the event, right? Yeah, you know what? It is a big year for the event. It's electric here, and there are a lot of new things happening at this year's Sturgis show. It's all about the motorcycles, and of course, over my shoulder, you just mentioned the Sturgis TT a minute ago. We're actually standing right where the finish line will be for the American Flat Track race that will be this coming Sunday. And what makes it so unique is the fact that this race is going to be different than any other race. They haven't raced here since 1938, and they're going to be racing on a different type of bike. This is actually called an Adventure Tracker bike. And this is part of the new series. This is an adventure bike. So it's it's not a traditional street motorcycle. This one is meant for off-roading, and it's by Harley-Davidson. It's called the Pan America. What's interesting is that this is the actual version you can buy at a dealership. And you can tell that there's not a big difference between the motorcycles as far as looks go. Now, I wanted to point this out as well. We're always talking about motorcycles. We're talking about safety. We're talking about helmets. This is my Arai helmet right here with the DOT sticker on the back but one of the coolest pieces of technology here at the show this year is actually this vest made by a company called alpine star think about your airbag in your vehicle well this one actually has a deployable airbag on the inside of the vest which protects riders as they're out there on the road now as we make our way back around between the two motorcycles what's unique about this race on sunday is that they're going to have three classes and of those classes it's going to be all about attention on this new series now i mentioned sturgis and this amazing rally for the first time ever consumers are coming down here not just to check out the street bikes like the ones over my shoulders but you can actually demo one of these adventure bikes a variety of manufacturers are here giving consumers a chance to take a ride on one of these Mike, when you're there and you're, you're talking about this race, how long is this race and what's it look like for fans? Are you up and close to that action and seeing those bikes go by? Yeah, so that's a great question. So this is the actual track. They're going to put stockades right along the side here, right along the side over here, and consumers are going to be able to stand on the sidewalks and take in the whole race. They're going to have a variety of different classes. This is an actual points race for American Flat Track as well. So the racers that competed earlier in the week during the Flat Track Series down in Rapid City, now they're going to compete here with only a few days rest, and it's going to be a full points race. But all eyes, I'm going to tell you, are going to be on this new category with this adventure bike series. I know so many people are excited about that aspect of it, but let's not forget we mentioned the word party. It is absolutely a blast up there. You're having a blast. What's it like for people who have never been? Try to explain that atmosphere because I know there are people from all over the country that converge on Sturgis for this event. Well, to be perfectly honest, in my hotel last night, there was a whole contingency from Germany. Uh, so this is an international event. You ask about the excitement. You know, this is the Harley Davidson sound stage over here to the right. They'll be playing music. There's a place called the Buffalo Chip uh, that's about five miles outside of town where Kid Rock played last night, the night before. Jelly Roll played. What's amazing is that you have half a million people here, and most of them are on motorcycles. So it's loud. It's fun. There's great sights and sounds. There's a lot of food opportunity here as well. People are taking in all the sites, and that's what makes Sturgis great. Such a small town. They had to work with the city council this year to get the race downtown. It's just a lot of fun, and everybody hangs out. What's amazing to me is that you're not seeing a lot of trying to find the right word for it, but there's not a lot of rubble rousing. People are just here to enjoy it. They get to put on their bandanas and like this guy over my shoulder right here, take in the sights and sounds of everything happening uh, here in downtown Sturgis. Well, Mike, it is tough work, but I know somebody has to do it and we're thankful that you do, my friend. Thank you so much for spending some time with us and have a blast out there. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you.